Boom. Do you okay. hear me? Backstage at Strawberries and Cream Festival, I'm Joanna Noble. I'm here with AGT, and we've got a yes. very special guest in our tent. All right, you know it's Wes Nelson. I like, I like this tent. Do you like the it's, tent? It's home. What do you like about it's it? Cozy, it? Yeah, it's cozy. Like the, the rug was a nice touch. Do you know that what? was me That's actually? Like really? I bought that rug. No, I didn't. For That's me. like my yeah. nan's. Can, I'm my sure nan's we can arrange something. Where you can I take this rug? Do you know what? I'm gonna say yes, even though I don't have the authority to do so. But no, I'm I'll gonna give it. you I'll say yes. that yes. <laughs> he like, doesn't either, yeah. but it's alright. Okay. <laughs> Listen, I've seen your MTV cribs recently. Oh yeah. Could this go in there? It could. It makes the cut. I'm moving to a new gaff now as well. Well, you're gonna have to do I another one. I haven't seen that MTV cribs. I need to catch up. You need to see that. What's the most special part of it? Uh, the go-karts. I have a go-kart. You've got go-karts in your ass. He's rich. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my brush your shoulders off? I've no already time, clocked right. the Barack Supreme settings because I'm really liking that. I respect all it's of that. Dope. <laughs> but you know what? We met you off of Love Island, yeah? You did, you and did. now you are a whole artist out here killing it. I don't even know you, but I feel really proud of you. Uh, and I'm you. sure a lot of people do as well. Yeah. yeah. How is it for you? To be fair, it's just been crazy. Like. You couldn't have expected it to have gone as well as it had. It's just like a passion that I've literally always, always had in my life. And then Love Island, I was just asked to go on there. So like, yeah, it's yeah. not like it was any ever a part of the plan sort of thing. Yeah, so yeah. It definitely helps though. It, yeah, well, yeah, it helps. But then it as well, like people have that sort of stigma and that yeah. sort of idea. How do you break that stigma though? By making hits. <laughs> do you know what it because is? Because it's like it's how good people way. have tried from reality over the years. Not even just yeah. recently. And Katie Price, there's one. There's one. But tell me more about the stigma. What, what yeah, is the stigma? I think it's just that obviously <laughs> people just see Islanders as talentless. Right, yeah. But like in the past three years, I've done what? Dance in a Nice Final, Swam the Channel for Stand Up for Cancer, and now become a platinum selling artist. Yes, that's right. You <laughs> told them. How does that <laughs> make that make sense? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And that's not even like, yeah, that's a, that's a brag, but like, that's a brag that's necessary when people put that on you, so I think. Yeah, it's facts. I'm just happy. I'm proud of it. I so. respect it, and I feel like if you don't respect it, then you're definitely hating. Yeah. But um, <laughs> but what tips can you give someone who you know feels like maybe they they haven't done it before, or the world doesn't know that that's what they're so into? That, you know. That was. This was like a familiar story for me because, as much as I've wanted and always wanted to be a singer and like dreamt of it all my life, like I had zero confidence in any of my singing ability. Mm. Um, I'd sing, it was like Toy Story, this is how best way I can describe it, it's like in my house, I, when my mum and dad weren't in the room, I'd be singing, 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 and then as soon as they walk in, I'm just like, yeah. just going, <coughs> <coughs> and they just go, <laughs> and I just pretend you're doing shit. <laughs> but um, that. but that was, that was me until what, three years ago. And what was it then that like inspired you to just say, fuck it, I'm you know, gonna just do wasn't this? Even, it, the only thing, if I wanted to make the most heat off of Love Island, use the heat the mo um, from Love Island, I would have done it straight away when I got off yeah, of Love Island. Yeah. I didn't have the confidence then. Like, and really and truly, as is, is simple as it sounds, I just didn't have the confidence. And then I just took a leap of faith when I did that X Factor thing, and that got uh, one performance, my whole stage fright, everything was gone. Yeah, yeah. So I think just throwing yourself in at the deep end and trusting in your gut. If you're lit, you're lit. Like, That's right, just, and if you think you're lit, be lit. And, and if you're else, shit, and if you if you actually believe that you're lit, though, everyone else will start believing you're lit. Yeah, I love so that. It's, it's true. Like if, you, if, you, if you're lit and you don't believe it, no one else no, is gonna believe, not gonna it. believe it. So just believe it. Like you're lit. You're lit. Oh, Go I love that. That's absolutely. very inspiring. Yeah. Listen, Thank we were in here doing interviews. We heard your tune absolutely booming off yeah. the the tent. We're shaking, geezer. Yeah, it's dope. <laughs> and when I heard it, I was thinking, yeah, that, it it like I listen. You said you're a platinum selling artist. Yeah. I know it's a hit anyway. But when you hear it at a festival. And you've got your own set. You yeah. must look at it and go, "Wow, I've actually yeah, it was done crazy. something cool and here." Even like the, I was really happy with how the unreleased songs went. Like even yeah. the unreleased songs, everyone was singing the hooks by the second yeah. verse. So I was just like, "That's dope." That means it's sticking already. So well, I'm happy. But in terms of the actual tune itself, when you see the see crowd nobody. reaction, yeah, you yeah. know the song. Mad. See nobody. Mad. I mean, how did that song come about first and foremost? But then, what's it like to see the finished article? Well, Ao the festival? beats, the person who produced it is there. Big boy him, producer. Yeah, and I met him Big through boy. my manager, and we did. It, we made see nobody through Zoom. Wow. wow. He was in Oman, 
So the first time wow. that I met Ayo was on the video shoot for Sunan Body. Wow. We did everything through Zoom. I wrote the song and then sent it across. He put it all together and then boom. And now Amazing. you're playing it on the festival stage. At yeah, that is, this is the wildest thing though. This is, like I said, it's a year since Cena Body came out. Today. Wow, today? Yes. Yeah, One year anniversary. Yeah, Congrats, bro. And thank That's you. an achievement yeah, right there. Um, so, yeah, to hear, it's been a year and to, it, for it to be a year, for us to finally hear back, it sucks. Uh, yeah. I wish I could have just heard it earlier, but, but yeah. it's so amazing uh, on the, on the same, same note to finally be hearing it back to you. So. Love seeing how it's connecting. Do you get nervous before you have to go on the stage in front of loads of people? No, so like, if you would have asked me this like two days ago, I would have said yeah. Yeah. But I've done like four four festivals in the past two days, and then wow. prior to that we did Wembley and stuff. Like yeah, yeah. Like we've yeah. done some big crowds now, but them first ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was putting my hands behind my back because I didn't look like my mic was going like this. Was your stuff. heart beating out your chest? Yeah, and it's like it's like a, it's a combination of excitement, adrenaline, and and nerves but i think you can get it crossed over and think yeah. you're really nervous but you're actually just really excited that's how i look at it yeah, that's I how agree. i got over it it's like nerves are just really good excitement so. yeah i like nerves because then i know i care about it you if know? you just convince yourself that your nerves are excitement you get way more confident yeah i yeah. hear that Oh. So listen, we got some questions for you. Oh yeah, we've, we've got, got the bag, bag of, of truth. truth now, That's Wes. what we're calling it today, Wes. I'm ready. So you got to be truthful with these ones. Have a little dip. See what you come out with. <laughs> What's that one say? Last film you watched. Oh, one. that one's easy. Oh. Rush Hour. Oh, I love. This is on Netflix now, isn't yes. it? Yes. Yes, I watched that the other day too. Yes. I, I, I saw that. it come on. I was like, yes, Rush Hour. Yeah. I need some of that. That's one of my favorites. Jokes. What's your favorite then? Film. I'm gonna say yeah. I love Gladiator, man. Oh, I love Gladiator. Or Shawshank Redemption. That's Ooh. a classic, mate. Oh. Absolute classic. For me, The Goodfellas. old ones are good. Goodfellas for me. Goodfellas. Yeah. I love a Goodfellas. You know me, I like to... Uh, <laughs> I love a Goodfellas. You know, Goodfellas. Go you know bada what bing, are you doing? Bada, bada bing, bada boom. Who the fuck are you talking about? Everybody's ah! happy. <laughs> All right. see, it's the face as well. Listen, listen. That was not even his favourite film. He just wanted to do the impression. <laughs> You've been waiting for this moment your whole life. In it. I have. I You've been wanting to be an impersonator, really? Delivered. You're delivered. You're delivered. To, you're delivered to though. Hey. When the pressure hey. was on, look at that. <laughs> what are you going to do? Just huh? the, what are you going to do? Uh, what are you going to do? <laughs> Let's have one more question before right, we send you on, on your way, bro. I know you're a very busy Hopefully person. It's a spicier one this time. I hope. Not. <laughs> oh, snap. Oh. Get your this phone out, Wes. <laughs> PG, please, geezer. I don't want to see no funny business oh. on there. Oh gosh. I've just got this edge of fruit. This is me and yeah. Ayo. This is me and Ayo yesterday. Yeah, that's cold then. That's cold then. I didn't know and if you this saw me tap that. As well. Yeah, I saw you tap that. I didn't that. know if that scream was out of shock nah. and horror or like happiness, but okay, yeah, yeah. it's happy. No, it's good. It's just a picture of me and Ayo. <laughs> we love to see it, man. Oh. Listen, hopefully we're seeing you back here next year. 100%. You're already now a customer with strawberries and cream. It's a great festival. Hell yeah. And we'll see you again next time. Thank you so much for Thanks chatting so much, to Nelson. us. It's Backstage been a pleasure. Backstage at strawberries and cream. <laughs> Have Love. fun. Love.